So corn, avocado, cheese, and tomatoes, or did I miss something? Nope, that's it. Well, it's the mozzarella cheese balls, like the mozzarella balls. It's the mozzarella cheese balls. So you get corn, you cook the corn, and then you cook, well, you don't cook, you cook the corn, you cut up an avocado, like just cut it up regular, right? Okay. You should know how to make a. Uh, you should know how to, you know you know you should know how to cut the avocado. Then you buy the little baby tomatoes, and you dice them up and like the mozzarella, um, the mozzarella, um, like the mozzarella balls. You know, am I making it and adding fresh basil? You can do that too. You can make fresh basil as well too on top of it, and then add a uh, balsamic for your your dressing. You could eat it uh, hot. Or you can make it cold, and you can put some chips too. So like you can make it's like you 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 can make a cheese like a like a dip, and just buy chips, and then like have that. Girl, that's not a cowboy salad. It's close to a capri pre sort of. Oh. Well, that's what TikTok told me. That's what it was called. So that's why I went off on cowboy salad. So I'm sorry. That's what they told me it was when I was making it the first time. I didn't know. So, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. If you add, like, cream cheese to it, it's so good with chips. Mm-hmm. Who cares? It looks great. I mean, try it, you know? Like, try it. Just make it and then just buy it and then put it in your refrigerator. Let it cool down. You know what I'm saying? And there's, there's your salad. So when I make spaghetti for my mom, because I'm not cooking until 6, because she gets off at 6, so then she'll be home around 7. Um, yeah, Capri salad is just mozzarella, tomato, basil. But um, then I'll make, like, spaghetti and the ground beef, because I have ground beef already. I'm going to do that, cook the, uh, cook the noodles, and then put the, uh, and that's it. Praying for your knee. I know that pain is all too well. Through their nursery surgery since April for me Tuesday. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope for a speed recovery. I don't know. It is what it is. I took that brace off. I'm like, screw it. Like, if I'm not moving around, I'm just going to I'm gonna lay here. So I've been icing it and relaxing. I just, I had to go out and grab Enzo's food. <laughs> and I went to the store and bought some stuff for dinner for my mom. So when she comes home, I can make her dinner tonight. And then I stopped at Pop Bellies and got myself a shake and got myself some cookies tonight for my for Mimi. So I got like these cookies. They're called the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So and I'm gonna bring some for tomorrow for work. And I got myself just a shake. Really good. How'd you hurt your knee? Oh, I just like those braces. I just picked another one up after surgery. Yeah, they're not fun. They're not fun. So, what kind of shake? It's called the strawberry shake. It's really good. Who's this? Hey, girl, what's up? You okay? Well, don't think she meant to. I'm sure you're... Yeah. Are there, are there people requesting my boxes? I'm so confused. Why are people requesting my boxes? Guys, trivia is not until... Oh man, your boxes are up. Oh. 
I don't know how to get rid of that. They're open. Oh, you have boxes open. <laughs> ah, whatever. Though, no, but, uh... Oh. You guys want to do trivia tonight or no? Because I have to go to bed early tonight. I got to be up at 5 a.m. So, like, 10 o'clock, like, 9 o'clock is when I have to be, like, passed out. So... Dinner is on seven. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna fit it in? How am I gonna fit it in tonight? Um okay, I gotta cook dinner at six. Um, I gotta cook dinner at six. So how am I gonna do this? Uh, and I'm not gonna eat dinner until seven with her. Uh, don't do it tonight, relax. Yeah. Do it now. I'm gonna do it now. No, easy, no trivia. Do an afternoon trivia. You wanna do an afternoon trivia? No, now or just skip it today? Yeah, I'll skip it. I'll skip it. I wanna relax. Yeah, I'll skip it because I want to I, I wanna make dinner for her tonight. I really do. I do want to make dinner for her tonight. So don't hate me. 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 But yeah, I think I'm going to relax because I got to. <clears throat> Good. I'm cooking ribs. Yeah, forget it. Enjoy your fam. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have dinner with them tonight. It's Sunday, girl. Relax. Take a day for Danny. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah, because I think I'm going to relax now. The salad is done. And I'm good. Now I can kind of relax. I personally would rather watch you and hang out than have trivia. It's Danny Day. No drama, bro. No drama. I slept in, bro. I didn't get up until like 11, dude. And then like, I'm like, dang, I didn't want to get up. But I did. Then I took a shower and got ready. And then I went to PetSmart, picked up his his food for the whole month and then i went to Publix, got stuff for dinner tonight for her and then came home cleaned up went to pot bellies got myself a shake and some cookies and yeah then i made the cowboy salad and now i'm gonna make spaghetti tonight and go to bed early tonight because i gotta get up in the morning because i gotta go to work I do. Yeah, I gotta go to work. <coughs> Excuse me. What's for dinner? Um, spaghetti and salad. So, yeah, I didn't eat lunch yet because I'm just like, screw it. I might as well just like, you know, wait for dinner. So I'm gonna skip breakfast and lunch, and then I'm gonna make. Uh... Oh, happy birthday! I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna eat, uh, spaghetti. So I'm just gonna wait until dinner, until I eat. Till I eat. That's why he's gotta shake to hold me over. Hello? Hello? I'm not putting anybody in my boxes. I'm having homemade chili. That sounds really good. Beans? I don't know how to get rid of these. How do you get rid of these? Wait. Ah, I fixed it. I fixed it. Who? Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so done. Well, I don't know what to do. Are you going to cook with us? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Scooter ride? No, no, not with my knee. No, not with my knee right now. That's too dangerous. I'm not risking it. I have, I have work. Mm -mm. I can't injure enough. Okay. No, tomorrow on my lunch break, I'm going to start calling orthopedic and try to do something here. If I have to wait until November, because I'm going to get, in I'm going to get charged with my insurance starting October 1st, and then I'll start. And then by November, I can have insurance. So if I have to wait another month before I can go, I mean, I don't know if I should do like, do you think I should wait to see an orthopedic in November and just tough it out and just go see and then when I have insurance? Like, I don't know what to do. They will probably need an MRI. Are you going to be okay at work tomorrow? Yeah. I've been at work. Yes, otherwise you'll be paying out of pocket. Well, I'm going to have to wait then. I mean, I'll just wait for November to come because, I mean, it's not too far. And then when I have insurance, I'll just, because I'm paying for insurance, so... If you start paying for insurance October 1, then you should have coverage then. Really? I don't know. That's what they told me. They said that by October 1st is when um, is when, I re when, when I'm receiving. I would wait and get insurance first. Yeah. Yeah, because they're going to they're, they're gonna take it out of my check on October 1st or my next check. They're going to take it out. That's what they told me. And so I just have to wait. I have to suck it up. I've been going to work. I've went to work. That, I think it was a Saturday. I had to go to work. So if you pay in October, you should be able to use it. Yes, if you start paying October, you sh it should become active. All right. I'm going to double check tomorrow. I'm going to log on to the, the website and I'm going to, I think there's a number that I can call. And I can make some phone calls on. If if not, wait. The MRI will be so expensive. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to wait then. I know that pain too. I've been working with a messed up knee since April. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. But uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'll just suck it up and I'll just go ahead and wait. And then I'll get in to see a specialist and I'll get an MRI for my knee and see what the hell is going on with it. Did you get your hair fixed? No, I didn't. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't have to wait till November if you're paying in October. It's usually 90 days from your start date. It is 90 days from my start date. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Did I start in July or August? When did I start? Wait a second, hold on. When did I start in October? No. Was it July? No, it wasn't July. It was August. When's my start date? It was August, wasn't it? Wasn't it sometime in August? So then it would be November because it's not, it hasn't been 90 days yet. Then November. I did start in August. So yeah, it would be in November that my insurance would kick in. Yeah, you start towards the end of August, I think, right before Labor Day. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it was August that I started working. Then you start paying in November. Okay. Then it's November then, so I have to wait another month. 
Don't you have medical since you got food stamps? I don't have food stamps no more. I already called. They denied me because I'm making way more. So I don't have food stamps anymore. Like, after I got this job, I had to report my income because then you're just frauding the government. So they, they said, yeah, unfortunately, we have to, you know, we have to take it away because of the benefits because I made too much. So they denied me for my benefits because, yeah. So I don't get that no more. I mean, making what thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a month. I don't need uh, I don't need that. I don't need food stamps. So I make about three grand a month. Yep, I know, lucky me. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm getting my period soon. Uh oh. <sighs> Yep, five more days. How are you liking your job? I love my job. I really do. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> to the point I haven't called off yet, I said something. I like the money. I like what I do. I like the hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm motivated to get out of here. You know, I'm motivated to save money. I'm motivated to put money away and... You know, just get on with my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't get anywhere in life if you don't save, if you don't work. You know what I'm saying? And my last pot jobs, I used to call off all the time. I don't want to do that no more. Because then the companies don't keep you. <clears throat> so you got to just play it smart. I'm obsessed with your new hair. I shaved my head after COVID. Oh, really? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love my job. I do. Some the, I've been so happy there. It's not even funny. Yeah. So I'm happy. I saw the, your video about your hair. Did you get it fixed? <laughs> No. It, 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 listen, it's hair. It will grow. It will grow back. I'm not that worried about it. I'm really not. It's okay. It can be a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't talk about that, Lorena. I don't talk about that. That's, that's, that's personal, personal, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it'll just grow back. It's not a big deal. My eyebrows, like, Danny, are you able to contribute? Yes, I already have a 401k. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I already, I already have that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be there for, I'm going to be there for a long time. Long time. Yeah, I'm not quitting. <laughs> no way. No, I'll be there for a long time. For sure. Kind of like sun running. I was there for almost three years. So. And I told you how how much I love sun run. Exactly the same thing. How much do you make an hour? I don't talk about that. So. Yeah. <sighs> If they match your contributions, I highly suggest putting as much as a match fee, free money. Yeah, no, I already have it all set up, so it's already in the system. So, I'm proud of you, Danny. I'm proud of myself, too. I am very, very proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew coming to Florida, it would make me more happy. I just knew it. I just knew it. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't know, like, I feel like a different person here in Florida than I did in Illinois. Like, maybe I'm around family more, maybe, I mean, the weather, like, I'm not smoking as much as I have been in Illinois. Like, my health feels a lot better. Like, I just feel, I feel more happy here than I have in a very long time. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, structure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and what not it's just just makes me happy it makes me proud of myself on how far i've come you know i see it i do i see it and i don't know, I, I like this new danny i think it helps when you can't smoke inside too a hundred percent midwest a hundred percent she told us how much her paycheck was a couple of weeks ago yeah it was close to 1400 and it wasn't even 80 hours. So that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Once your mental health approves, so does emotional, physical, etc. Exactly. Exactly. You know? It's like. Just finding my own place and getting my life back and getting my freedom back is just going to make me more happier. Because TikTok Police Department, because it's no one's business, okay? It's no one's business, all right? I'm not going to, like, keep telling everybody how much I make. Just, I'm not doing it. It's the bottom line. So, stop. You deserve all of this. You've been through enough. I have... I really have been through a lot. It's it's been a roller coaster for me, you know? It really has, you know? Like having a full time job, going to bed early, you know what I'm saying? Being on a routine, getting up at five AM, you know, it feels good. You know, it really does. It feels really, really good. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, it's 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 how you want to make your life. You know what I'm saying? You got to make changes in order to change your life around. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I really believe in my heart. Like, you know, as soon as November comes, I'm getting a therapist. Like, I'm not pushing that away. Like, I want to talk to somebody. That's that's not going to just stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of myself, even without therapy, on, on how well I'm doing. You know, the, the changes that I'm making, the way I am. Like, and that's this this is even without therapy, you know? And just sit back and, and say that I'm doing it, that I'm the one doing this, and setting the boundaries for myself, and setting the structure for myself. Like, yeah, you, you, yeah. Like, I am proud of myself. 100% I'm proud of myself. Because nobody did it for me. I'm the one that changed my behaviors around. I'm the one that set a routine for myself. I'm the one that gets up in the morning. I'm the one that has to go to work. I'm the one that has to do what I have to do for myself. No one does it for me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. And, you know, I sit back and, I, and every single day, you know, goes by. I'm like, you know what? Um, I am proud of myself. I am. I'm very, 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 very proud of myself. I am. Well, hopefully you stick with it. You haven't in the past. I have not had it. You're right. You're absolutely right. I haven't in the past. But you know what? That's my past. That doesn't define my future or what I want for myself. Just because things have happened in the past doesn't mean that it's going to continue happening. Ever since I came to Florida, I've been a different person. And there's going to be people that see it. And there's going to be people that don't see it. And those people that don't want to see those small changes... That's a their problem. That's not a me problem. That's just facts right there. I'm not here to prove anybody. I'm here to do it on my own. Not because I want that glory or the that attention. Because I want to do it. That's why. Prove you're doing better. It takes time, but you'll get there. A hundred percent. Is it hard? Yeah, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? But I know I can do it. I know I can. I just, when you create a, a habit, a habit, a good habit is 60 days. 
to break any bad habits. Have you heard of that? It takes 60 days to create a good habit. And if I continue this routine, I continue doing what I have to do, I continue going to work, I continue doing what I have to do, those are creating habits that are gonna be hard to break and I don't wanna break those good habits. That's the reality. Think about that. Going on two years following you and I see improvement, congratulations, thank you. Thank you. Was that Moxie person able to help keep it up? What Moxie? I am so glad I knew she had it in her. I couldn't be more happier for her. Oh, thank you. The book Power of Habit changed my life, you know? Yeah, getting closer to God and having, you know, having to walk with him during my tough times and my darkest times, it has really helped me out as well. So I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. That therapist, that she, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be disrespectful. I just, I don't know. It's kind of hard to trust people on this app because I, I just, I don't feel comfortable. I just don't. I don't feel comfortable, like, talking about things. I just don't, like, I get that people want to help me with, like, but when I talk about personal things, I just, I'm scared. I'm, I can't, like, I, 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 I just get scared. Why don't you do the pray list anymore? I do. I do that tonight. I'm going to do that tonight. But I already told everybody that relationship with 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 God and everything, I want private. And I told everybody that. You know what I'm saying? You're you're not going to do it. You are doing it. That's true. Straight fact. So yes, I will be doing prayer lists. I have kept everybody in my prayers, everybody on the prayer list I have. So I do it every week. Why private now? Because there's bad people that ruin it for everybody. That's why. And you know what? I'm not going to let the devil come in and ruin it. I'm just not going to do it. So I made the decision to do it off of the app and to have something that's personal and that's close to me. And that's it. Bottom line. Maybe talk to her off the up and get a feel for things she didn't want to know anything. I get that though. I, I get it. I just, I don't know. Like, you guys don't understand how many times I've reached out to people on this app and I've told them things and then bam, something happens and they go, oh, yep, I got you. Now I'm going to spill your tea and then go on boxes and spill out your whole entire life history. No, thank you. No, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Sorry. I can't. I'll be respectful, but I can't. I've learned my lesson. I've learned. That's why you go see a professional therapist, not a TikTok therapist, not somebody. How do you not know? You don't know if they're actually a, a, a therapist. They could just be saying that just to get close to you and getting some information. I don't know. I just, I, I guess I'm very paranoid when it comes to stuff like this because it's happened to me and I just, I get scared. I, I don't want to be disrespectful. I just, that's why I don't barely talk to people on this app when people want to say resources because I, I just, I, I get scared. I get scared because I feel like, do can I trust them? Can, can I really trust these people that really say that they want the best for me? I don't know. It's hard. And I just, I get scared. And I just, I can't no more. I just can't. Mm -mm. I have friends outside of this app that I talk to that I, if I need questions, I can talk to them. You are making the right decision. Thank you. No, I, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I am. And that's just the bottom line. Trust no one on this app. <laughs> Straight facts. Straight facts. So, and I just got to get into the right mindset saying, Danny, no, -uh, wrongo, wrongo. So that's why I haven't reached out to her not being disrespectful i'm not i just i don't know i kind of get scared i kind of shut down and i kind of just sit back and i'm just like no hey i'm here i respect that i'm sorry adventure i i love you girl i do i love you but i'm i'm terrified i really am scared girl because I don't know how long you've been watching me girl i mean i love you i really do and i appreciate your love here but it's scary it's it's very scary for me. It's it's very scary for me. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. 
There is zero pressure. You don't have to contact me. You don't have to talk to me. I just want to be honest right now. I've been a therapist for 12 years. If I were to spill any of your information, my license would be taken away in a second. If you, well, one, just one thing. If you want resources, you don't even have to say a word to me. I will just send them to you. You can look at them as you want. You don't even have to respond. But I want to totally respect your everything with that. So my box is open. If you want it, reach out. If not, totally no worries. You'll Thank find you. it how you need to. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I really appreciate Whatever that. Whatever you do, if it is with me, I want it to be completely off the app. I don't want it on the app. I don't want to talk on the app. And I don't want to know anything about your past. It's not my deal. I'm not your therapist. So it's available if interested. If not, you have plenty of resources. Thank no you. Worries. So yeah. I appreciate that. Good up. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. My daughter's a therapist also. She's speaking the truth, Danny. I'll take the resources. I'll take them. I'll, I'll take. I'll I'll, I'll. I'll take the resources. Okay. I'll take them. I'll take them. That I will do. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll take the resources. DM me, girl. Just, just send me a message. I'm gonna forget. Just just DM me, and then I can get back to you. Just send me a message on here. Okay. Very kind of her. It's very, she's very sweet. She really is. Build a community there off the app. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, just just DM me, girl. But yeah, so. I think I just have PTSD. I really do. I, I do. I mean. It's my fault too, because a lot in my past, I've talked a lot of my livelihood on here. You know what I'm saying? And I need to stop doing that because I guess it's just not a, just gets you in trouble, I guess, when you talk about things and, and people hold you to those things and you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep, I'm telling you, you gotta keep shit. You know, I, I had to say one thing. I'm very proud of myself that I have not shown my uniform. I have not, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I am so effing proud of myself. I really am. I really am. I'm proud of myself. You've learned, you learn you can't with this app. I have learned. Oh, I have. I really have. You can always Google her name to confirm she is indeed a therapist. Yeah, I don't want to do that, though. That's like getting into her personal business, and I don't want to do that to her. I can give her my license number. I can give her my license number. No, you don't have to do that. Like, you know, like, I, like... I can't, I can't, guys, don't you remember, like, you know, these people that came in my boxes, right? And, you know, and I'm, and I'm not saying about her, right, about the therapist. No, I'm not, this has nothing to do with her. This is just <clears throat> to my past, like, how, like, it's public. We, we'll, talk, we'll talk all this app, though. Yeah, we will eventually. We will love. But you know those people that used to come in my box? Oh, Danny, I, I'm here for you. Girl, like, reach out to me. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And I did. And then I talked and talked and talked and talked about my life. And then they went live and bashed me and told them everything that I told them. Yep. Yeah, no more. <laughs> no more. Rongo. No more. Hi, Enzo. You want to say hi to TikTok? If TikTok wants to see their star. Come here. Come here. TikTok wants to say hi to you and then we're going to get off. And I'm going to lay down and watch a movie with you. Come here. TikTok wants to say hi to you. Come here. TikTok wants to say hi to you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. TikTok wants to say hi to you. Come here. Here, look. Say hi. Say hi. It's okay. 
Say hi to them. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, say hi to them. Yeah, say hi, Enzo. Say hi. Hi, buddy. They miss you. They miss you. They love you. Yeah, do you miss Enzo? Do you miss your family, your aunties, your uncles, your little sisters, your little auntie, TikTok aunties? Yeah, your TikTok aunties. Yeah, your TikTok aunties. Yeah, your little TikTok aunties. Yeah, little TikTok aunties. I swear he knows. <laughs> Yeah, little TikTok aunties. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok aunties. Yeah, it's your TikTok aunties. Good boy, Enzo. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, lay down. He looks so much happier. He is. I love how he looks at you. <laughs> I do too. He's my boy. So I went to go look, look at the, the look at the bags, okay? That's that's the bag I picked up, the smaller one, but that was like the bag I picked up. So now he's got another bag of food. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god! Oh. You know that bag cost me. I'm gonna show you. This bag cost me seventy five dollars. I think two months ago. <laughs> look how bad this is. This bag. Is so huge, okay? It's huge. It's like it's 8.5 pounds, okay? This bag that I picked up for him, okay? This one is four pounds, okay? That was 40 bucks. 40 bucks. $40 for that small bag. And that and that big one is like 70 something dollars. Oh my god. Yeah. Does he have to stay on the RX medicine food? Yes, he does. That's urinary care infection. So it's a Hills prescription diet, urinary care, CD, chicken. Yeah. Good pet food. It's so expensive, but worth it. Yeah. So he's got to, he's got to be on that food for the rest of his life. If uh, he can't have treats. He can't have anything except for prescription food only because of his crystals because they can come back and he can get blocked again. So until he passes away, he's got to be on this food for his, his whole entire life. Is it soft or is it, um, I do have soft food. I do give him like once every once a week. So tomorrow morning he'll get uh, his soft food. Do you should see if it Amazon has on subscribe and save. I don't think they have it on Amazon. The Neri Care CD chicken. I don't think they do. Oh, baby, if you join Pet Supermarket, you'll get $10 after a few bags. Really? It's just a lot of money I'm spending. Like, I spent 40 bucks just today on his, uh, on his food. But I'm like, I wasn't going to spend $70 on the big bag. I mean, the big bag lasts me like... Phew, like almost two months. You can get $5 off coupons on the Hills website. So when you buy it, it gives them the coupon. Oh, I'll have to look on Hills then. Pet foods are so expensive. They are. Amazon probably won't have it because you need a prescription for that brand. Yup, Chewy, maybe. Why did you get another bag if you didn't need it yet? He does. It's, it's, it's almost out. Chewy has it cheaper too, really? I always told people at the vet. Or PetSmart and get the rewards you save money. You can use it on your next order. I do have the rewards at PetSmart, though I do. Chewy just calls your vet for the script. Oh, they do? D, just think as humans, I would love my total food to be 70 for two months. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Good, very, very point. But, you know, I, I told everybody, I, I feed my babies first. They come first, not me. You know what I'm saying? Not me. My boys must have food. 
There's no script. Yeah, he has to have a script. Like there's a prescription food and there's like an RX number from from the doctor. Like you can't just get a prescription food without seeing at your 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 doctor, your vet. What do you use for Enzo? Can you show us what? Yeah, I'll show you the bag. Oh. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> And then I'm gonna get off because I do want to go to bed and just take a night and relax. So this urinary care CD multi care veterinary recommended. It has with chicken neutral. So that's what it looks like. And on the back. So it has that, and then that's my knee. That's my knee. Okay, that's my knee. Stop, Enzo. And it's got like a little chart here. Ingredients. But that's what it is. It's 33 on Amazon. Is it? Is it on Amazon? For how it what's for what bag though? Is it the small bag or the big bag? Because this one's four pounds at 40 bucks. Is it available on subscribe and save that really saves? Chewy always says, yeah, it's the same size bag as 33. I just bought the four pound bag on Chewy for 34. Really? Four pounds, 33, 24 for Chewy. That's exactly what PetSmart is though. Amazon will contact your vet to have a doctor sign stating yes, it's okay. Yup. Take it back, Danny. PetSmart is so expensive. Did the vet prescribe that food? Yeah, I have a legit prescription card from that veterinarian when he went to have surgery. And you have to go to Banfield. Mm hmm Yeah, because if he doesn't get that food, he can get reblocked again, and that's not good for him. What are you doing? Enzo. D7 dollars is a big savings in the big picture. You don't need a prescription for that food. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Yep. Any, any prescription food for animals have got to go through your primary vet. I just bought it. Don't have to have a script, Danny. Amazon says $64.99 and needs a script. Oh my God, these people. Yes, you do. You do. You do. You do. They shouldn't have let you buy if you didn't have a prescription card. Straight facts. When you go to PetSmart, okay, and you scan the thing, they're going to ask you, do you have a prescription card? And they can't bypass it without putting the RX number in. They have to have an RX number before they can proceed to giving you the total. If you don't have the RX, they're going to look at you and say, you need to go get a prescription card to buy this food. It's $33 for the same size bag. Danny paid 40 bucks for it. 
I did. It was like 38 something with tax. It was like 40 bucks. I work at PetSmart. If you don't have the card, then you can't buy the food. Straight facts. I used to work for PetSmart and Petco. I know how it goes. Sorry, I missed it. What's the name of it? Is it especially for cats or do they carry dog food too? Do you, like, no, it's urinary care tract infection. So this is what he, he's on for the rest of his life. So he's on, he's on urinary. So it's Hills Prescription Diet, Urinary Cat. Here's Enzo. He, he, he knows the food's right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows it. And then with chicken and then the SD. And then he's like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> You have food. Look. Look at that. You have food. That's exactly you have food in that freaking bowl. Look at that. You little monkey butt. You have food already. I don't know why he does that. CD, they do have food for dogs as well. Yes. Ah, he really knows his food. Yeah. I know he does. He knows that bag. He knows that food. He knows that sound. But he wants that one. <laughs> no, he still has more food in the other big... Enzo! Oh, he's a little muck. He's a little muck. I, I, I swear to God, he's a little muck. Enzo, come here. Enzo Jacobson. Oh, he's a little... He's a muck. He is. He's a muck. I swear to God, he is. All right, guys. Well, listen, I hate to do this to you, but I am such a typical child. Tell me about it. Um, I am going to go watch a movie and kind of lay down and relax um, and take some time for myself. Where did you get Enzo's Cut Bull from? I like that. Um, I got that from PetSmart. It was like 24 bucks. But I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'm leaving, and then I'm leaving. Okay, here, I'll show you. So, basically, if the water spills in here, so, I don't know, there's water's there. So, it kind of goes down here, so I washed it this morning. So, if, like, he spills it, then the water goes down here into the bottom thing. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go lay down. I'm going to go take some Advil and ice my leg. And then I'm going to go 